Good evening, everyone. Will a little girl's Christmas wish end up to be more than she bargained for? My name is Michael Kratiker, and I'm on a mission to find YouTube's scariest videos. Welcome to Hunting for Horror. Our video for this evening was submitted by you, the viewers. I thank you all for your contributions, and if you have a scary video, leave it in the comments or on our official Discord, link in the description. Before we begin, I recommend you watch the original video we'll be discussing tonight before continuing this video. Please support these talented creators. Getting into it, this video was submitted by Erawasilian. I'm still not quite sure if that's how I pronounce it. And it's called... WARNING! HIGHLY GRAPHIC! My two front teeth. My two front teeth was uploaded three years ago to the Baddington channel. It's 14 minutes and 31 seconds long and currently sits at 2 million views. My two front teeth actually falls into the analog horror genre. This video in particular seems to be emulating an old children's cartoon aesthetic. I know of the analog horror genre, but I think this is actually my first time watching an entire video of it all the way through. So let's dive into it and see what we've got. The video opens up by reminding us what we're watching and who made it, all set to a very Tom and Jerry-esque intro song. We're greeted to a log cabin out in the woods and... You know that creepy-ass moon from Majora's Mask? I think I just found his cousin. We're given a time frame for when this takes place. We're starting the story on December 21st, four days until Christmas. We finally get into the log cabin and, hang on a second, is that Bonnie? A lovely family resides in the home. Sophia, her brother Henry, her baby sister Ava, and her two parents, bullshit! How did this goofy ass looking clown dude land a hot goth wife? Just then, someone rings the doorbell. Uh, you gonna get that, Soph? I'll get it! Oh cool, she's got it. And as she does, we're introduced to our final character, Uncle Arthur, who looks and sounds a lot like a younger Santa Claus. Well, Merry Christmas, Sophie. Uncle Arthur has brought over a paper and pencil for Sophia to write down what she wants for Christmas, to which Sophia explains that she doesn't really know what she wants for Christmas. Uncle Arthur awkwardly suggests that she should wish for a larger mouth. Well? For a bigger mouth like me. That way you can eat more of your mother's famous cooking. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, Sophia gets an idea of what she wants for Christmas, and she lets us know through song. All I want for Christmas is my Wait, hold on a second. Is this DMCA free? Oh well, I've had a good. What was that? And what's that text right there? I don't speak enchantment table. Sophia lets her dad know that she's filled out her Christmas list. Look, Daddy! I know what I want for Christmas! I'll put this in the mailbox right away. What was that? I'll put this in the mailbox right away. Huh? I'll put this in the mail- Speak up, dude! You sound like Xbox Live! We get a little Atari-style animation of the dad dropping off the letter. Oh, we IRL now, boys! What? What's up? You got a problem or something? Is there a fucking problem here, dude? The first day ends and wait up. Is that Freddy Fazbear? Uh, what are we doing here? Is this Sophia's dream or something? Help me find me. Uh, how about we start off with hello? Here, I I'll lead introductions. Hi, I'm Michael, and you are? Help me find me. Nice to meet you. Is that a family name? Help me find me. Well, fine, be like that. Just go home. Didn't want to touch grass today anyway. You again? Look, you had a problem? I, we can handle it right now. I'll throw down with a snowman. 
I'll throw down with two snowmen. We transition into the next day, December 22nd. Three days until Christmas. Oh, hi, Mama. Sophia, that's not Mama. That's Help Me Find Me. Hey, how'd you get in here? Uncle Arthur is here, and he has a gift from Sophia's dad. Oh, before I forget, Sophia, your father wanted me to give you this gift. It's rather heavy, but he said not to open it until Christmas morning. You know, that box is pretty damn big for two front teeth. I guess it's possible it could be something else, like a teddy bear, or a new tricycle, or a, a dead relative. Maybe a bowling ball. It's revealed that Sophia's dad isn't feeling well, so Uncle Arthur proposes that they make some cookies. Hey, who the hell only makes three cookies? Let's see how many cookies we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bullshit! There were clearly three on the tray in the previous- Hey, why is that one burnt? That one was imperfect. Okay, moving on. Oh, hey, Uncle Arthur. Oof, been hitting the good kush, Arthur. Ow. So it was the meth again. Oh, God damn it! now there are three of you? How many times do I gotta teach you this lesson? Oh, wait a second. Three snowmen. The dad got sick. We haven't seen the dad or little sister in a while. Methed out Uncle Arthur. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, those aren't scarves, are they? Oh god. We uh, transitioned to day 23, two days before Christmas. Uh, Sophia lets her brother know that she can't find Uncle Arthur. Wonder where he could be. I can't find Uncle Arthur anywhere. He's supposed to go sledding with us. Maybe we should look for him. Oh, is that Henry? I wanted to hear what you had to say, but it looks like the cutaway didn't care. Bring Henry back. Bring Henry back. Please, for the love of God, bring Henry back. Hey, fake out jump scares on my shtick! I'll see you in court, Baddington! We got a shot of a long hallway and what appears to be the sound of someone calling Henry's name. That has to be someone's sleep paralysis demon or something, though. No one in the family sounds like that. D Dad? The hell, Angel Papa? <laughs> well, jeez, if it bothered you that much, I can talk to my wife. Maybe we can adopt. Oh. If in the chat for Henry, we close out the day with a shot of Sophia lying asleep in her eyes. Is that Freddy Fest? Freddy? That's not Freddy! We get another exterior shot of the lie. God damn it, that creepy moon is back! Before transitioning to December 24th, Christmas Eve. And on this day, the sounds of cries can be heard throughout the house. Sophia begins to look for the source of her little sister's cries. Eva! Baby sister! Eva, where are you? Carnival music begins to fill the air, getting louder as Sophia realizes that her entire family is missing. Henry! Mama! Sophia's calls for her family members becomes more desperate, and the carnival music more and more deafening. Henry! Mama! Until. Sophia is closed off inside of her room. However, she does not appear to be alone. You know my mama! Sophia fruitlessly tries to escape before looking back at the thing 
masquerading as her mother, only to find. We cut to a doll resembling Sophia on an operating table. Every breathing can be heard as the doll seems to freak out and twitch. No doubt giving us content for what is currently happening to Sophia. The screen glitches before the fate of our little clown girl is revealed. And she is added to our roster of snowmen. But the story isn't over yet. We still don't know what befell our dear baby Ava. Well, actually... We do. Remember when Sophia was handed a gift from her father? Want to know what was in the gift? Well, we can find out. It's finally Christmas Day. And what Sophia was gifted is... Not two front teeth. Come on, guys. That's the one thing she asked for. Overall, my two front teeth is very well done. I can definitely tell that a lot of work went into creating this video, with the custom characters, the backgrounds, the fact that there are a few different types of animation, 2D, 3D, even a live action shot or two. The creators do a good job of letting you know that something is seriously wrong underneath the video's happy demeanor. Stuff like shots that hang on for too long, the online delivery, and or dialogue in general, does a good job of keeping the audience on their toes for what's about to happen next. The imagery can be very disturbing, albeit a little bit played out. I feel like I've seen very similar monster designs to the Demon Mother in clips from other analog horror series. On top of that, the idea of a being slash creature taking form of someone you know seems to be a common theme for analog horror. Maybe a little bit too common. A lot of what makes analog horror scary seems to be mainly in the subtext of what you're seeing, which can make for some good psychological horror, but you also run the risk of your audience not understanding something you're trying to convey. I still don't know what that shot of all the Sophia animatronics was about, and I only understood the meaning behind the scene with the Sophia doll on the operating table on like my third watch. However, it does also help the video out in certain areas. Having the story revealed through imagery that we really don't have context for quite yet, and only uncover the meaning behind later on in the video, is very effective, and it has a nice impact on the viewer when we finally connect the dots. So was it scary? Yeah, I'd say so. I'll put this video in 8 tier. I know I said in the last video that all future Hunting for Horror episodes would cover 3 videos, but I ran it a bit short on time this week and I thought it maybe wouldn't be so bad since this video was longer than most of the ones I cover. Either way, sorry, but I hope you enjoyed regardless. And this is just what I thought. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you for watching.